so this is part two of restringing the ice cutting grid for my ice maker. So last week I discovered there's no way in hell there's 50 feet of wire here, but I ordered the same wire anyway because it's what I need. It's the right size, right resistance. So anyway, I over tightened it and broke it. Um, you can actually see where it broke right here. So the first thing to do is to undo that mistake. And we'll store that over there carefully. And then we're going to extract what we've got here. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to we're going to carefully pull it out so we can measure it. me when I say this comes off easier than it goes on. Okay, this is actually a pretty good wire here, but it is what it is. So one of the things we did wrong last time is we let this just be loose, and I'm not going to do that again. So I've got the right length here, and so I'm going to store that carefully right there. And meanwhile, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to store this. I've got the answer right here. Nope. Not that one, Satan. But these might come in handy. Not that one either. is the right diameter for this and so now I'm going to just figure out how to clamp it with these vice grips and now mm, yeah that still doesn't work I gotta clamp it a little differently there we go yeah good enough want to do is we want to pull off the amount of wire we need without unraveling the whole stinking thing again. Which may be substantially harder than it looks because the way this is on here, yeah. I'm going to get some help. So now I have a helper and we're going to pull off this wire and in fact if you could do two things at once draw that. This is going to spin and unwind and tangle. Um, so mainly, and, and, yeah, there you go. You're putting too much drag on it. I can't pull. Oh. I can pull away from you. Okay. All right, I got it. Just drag that because that's what bit me in the ass last time. Is this untangled and became a giant roll of mess. Okay, so we will see how it jumped, and it wants to just be a mess. Okay. This is 
not the highest quality way to do this. Okay, for now. Perfect. Thank you. I will call you when it's time for more games. Okay. Yeah. I just gotta find where which one of these is the old wire. Yep, okay, that one. So now that I've got my new piece of wire, I can set up this and start to string the wire. Okay, so that goes there. And this one goes here. So I don't know if there's an easy way to do this because none of this stuff wants to stay still. It's kind of a flaw in the design. You need, you need about five hands to do this. So. Before we get too far, I want to make sure that my everything is turned around right. Yep, yeah, okay, we're in the right positions. Right on cue, we've got some nice industrial noise in the background, courtesy of the train that runs through my neighborhood. So I started it sort of in the middle and I'm pulling, um, trying to overcome some issues that I had with, with bending the wire too many times. And I think this will help. Now the seller claims that this is pre-tensioned, but I, I don't agree with that. lacing metal shoelaces and you do not want to allow it to kink as you do this and that's probably the more difficult aspect of this because as you pull it it, it um, twists the metal because there's not really a good way to draw it they, they get it they gauge it down to this size by drawing it through rollers, so as you pull on it, more of the same happens, and the um, electrical supply wiring acts like fish hooks to catch this as you pull through here.
So it's just that easy to create a little kink in the wire, and I didn't, I didn't even see that happening. That's irritating. This is turning out to be far more difficult than I originally expected it to be. Because of stuff like that. And we're just going to march through it because it just needs to work. But you need to be exceptionally careful when you're doing this to avoid those. Seeing that kink's going to wind up at the edge. And now for the fun part, we've got to try and draw. So at this point, we've got kind of helter skelter, and we've got to get it tighter than that. going to do what we did last time where we stretch it to the point where we break it because it's just not that strong a wire. Sucky part was this isn't even one that was broken. So uh, I want to add a little more force to these to make sure I've got good electrical contacts. But again, don't, don't over torque these because it will break the wire. Alright, that's good. where we have the inappropriate splice right here and I'm going to go ahead and cut this one apart that as a holder.
There is no way that there's 50 feet here. This might be 30 feet. You know, and that wouldn't bother me. Just sell it for what it really is. So you just have to be careful as you string this through here to make sure that it is not going to tangle or kink. Now we need to remove the old wire. So we were using it to hold the plastic pieces in place, so we'll go ahead and remove it at this point. I don't even know what they did this splice with. It looks like copper.
home run. So uh, I have a hard time believing it takes 20 feet to do one of these. My neck doesn't go. So, leave that alone, and what we need to do now is pull the wires tight. Again, not a ton of pressure. should be done. I don't feel like that's snug enough, but I'm not going to tempt fate. This isn't under pressure. So we got about three feet of wire left over. All right. And then we've got this. So this is just not a pretty piece of trim. It actually is what holds it in. no easy part of this these clips go up in here it is difficult for me to see and it's a bad work angle That's how it goes. Oh, well, maybe not. It's 
slides under it. Okay. There is an up and a down to this thing, and this wiring harness is on backwards. So we're gonna go, and hopefully we don't have to buy a whole bunch more wire to fix this. Okay, that really works. to do this is carefully take this completely off and try not to snap any wires in the process. Like I have all the black pieces in backwards. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't know if I can take it apart and put it back together again. I don't know that I have a choice.
right tools would make this easier, but I don't have the right tools, so we're going to do it the hard way. Okay. Never have thought you could get this to go back through here, but I did it. So now let me go ahead and tighten it. Put it back together. All right. Oh, 
Either. Should be ready to go. And as long as these are moderately warm, it's doing its job. And they are. So we'll give it about a half hour and we should start seeing some cubes. Alright, so it's back to making ice cubes. And uh, I'll shine a light in there. So uh, that was a successful repair. Um, uh, yeah, I realize there's some crud in there. I don't care. I only use this for my cooler. This is just a convenient way to fill my cooler with ice every day when I go out in the field. Thanks for watching.